Okay, this next video is going to be about animations. These are specifically going to be timeline animations. And uh, that is what we're going to do in this one. There's a bunch of different ways to do animations inside of Unity. Um, and I'm just going to talk over myself as I start to create this new project. Um, because this part is not very interesting. But it's the same, way, you know, just create a new project. However you feel like organizing your projects is fine with me. I don't really care. Uh, select that folder. This is going to be Unity 2D. Principles of this one um, actually apply to 3D as well. Most of the stuff is, goes both ways. Uh, timeline, animations. So what we're going to do in this one is show you how to move stuff around the screen using uh, an animation. So there's going to be no code in this one, um, just uh, using the Unity timeline where we'll be able to set some keyframes. If you're familiar with, uh, with the old Flash or Adobe Animate, I think is the same thing. That's pr it's pretty much what we're going to be working on. So we'll let this thing get loaded up. And then uh, after this, we'll probably do another video about scripting. We'll do another video about sprite sheets. Uh, but this is going to be like the most basic of the most basic uh, animation stuff. OK, so I'm going to scroll out a little bit so I can see my scene. Uh, here's my main camera. I'm going to change the color uh, all the way to white. Just get rid of that blue. And I'm going to bring in one picture. We're just going to um, animate one image. So I'm going to go back to my glitch assets. Oops. Actually, I don't need this font window open. Uh, what do we want to move across the screen? Ah, how about this guy? Drag him in to my assets. And, you know, we talked about images in other videos. If you need to go back and check that one out to figure out how to do this, you know, go for it. Uh, but some of this stuff I'll click through kind of quickly because we've already covered it. Um, I'll drag my vendor into the scene. Here we go. And if I hit play... We've got that. All right, very good start. So what I want to animate is just him moving over here, maybe coming back, something like that. Back and forth, back and forth. You know, this might make a little bit more sense. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change it up. Let's animate some clouds moving. Why not? That will make a little bit more sense. And I think we do have clouds. Uh, I'm going to go back to this landscape. Yeah, these things are icicles, but or, or some kind of snow cap, but they kind of look like clouds. For us, they're going to be clouds. I'm going to shrink it down. And I'm going to push it outside of our window. So when I hit play, we don't see it. And what I'm going to animate is this cloud going by like this. Look like the clouds are moving. Um, scroll wheel, zoom in out. Just kind of positioning, scroll wheel back in again. If you click your scroll wheel, you get the move tool, and you can kind of pan around like this. So that's how I'm quickly doing that. Um, you can also click on the hand tool to move around, but I usually just click on the scroll wheel. There we go. Okay, so this is a thing that I want to animate. And um, so I am going to go, uh, we need to open up a couple more windows here. We've got all these different tabs. I'm going to open up another one. Window, animator. And window, animation. There we go. And you can tap, you can break them down into anywhere. I'm going to drag the tab down here, so here it is. Um, and you can move your window around wherever you want to move it. That's fine, and set everything up differently. Um, the animator, we're going to take a peek at it, but we're not really going to do anything with it this time. But I wanted to make sure that you know there's a difference between animator and animation. So back in my scene, I've got my snow building here, and it says to begin animating it, create an animator and an animation clip. So we'll say create. This will be clouds. Yes, it's snow, but we're going to call it clouds. There we go. And so now what I can do is I can hit the record button. And I'm going to go right here. And that's going to set our keyframe at time zero. And then at one second, we have another keyframe. And I'll move it out here. So we have at time zero, we're here. And at time one second, we're there. I don't need to record anymore. So now if I hit play, there it goes. It looks great. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom this out just a little bit. And I'll hit my record again. And at time zero, 
I want it to be way out here. So now when we start, we don't just see it appearing. It kind of slides like that. And then I'm going to delete these. Delete those keys. I'm going to zoom way out. Let's make this thing take 10 seconds. Here, click on record. At 10 seconds, I want it to be over here, way off screen. So now when I hit play, it's going to take this thing 10 seconds to cruise across. There it goes. And then it should loop back around. And there it is again. So now our guy is just kind of sitting here hanging out, and the clouds are cruising by. And then you could make all kinds of different clouds and have them at different parts just by using uh, this keyframe editor. Um, and there is a little bit of acceleration and deceleration. What we're in right down here is the, the dope sheet views, which is giving us our keyframes. If you look at curves, we can see how this thing is accelerating. This is, you know, quick acceleration, and then it slows down. And you can change these curves if you want to, um, to you know, uh, to make it either quicker or slower or no acceleration, no deceleration, what you know, whatever it is. But that's the difference of this thing. So that was really quick. I mean, that's what I wanted to do is to show um, a cloud going off the screen and using the timeline for animations. That's it.